shows up. I don't know where the key is. She'll come back. Let's see. Go ahead, go into full screen mode. We're waiting on the Twitch. Everything seems to be working. Streaming, recording. Didn't want that to happen. Uh, try that again. And that's, that can't be right. <laughs> Something terribly, terribly wrong with that. All right, uh, close, and oh, I see what happened. Well, part of it. A lot of stuff got turned on that wasn't supposed to be getting turned on. It's going to be one of those nights, isn't it? I think it is. Our campaign logo should be turned off. But... Oh, I know what happened. All right. That's what happened. Hey, you didn't do anything. It just all went and uh, swapped it on its own. No, well. Let's uh, try that again, full screen mode. Good. Hi, everyone. Technical difficulties. I'm dead. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this right. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. It is Friday, December 8, 2017. I'm Dendril. That's Cyndaquil. That's an ephemeral Moogle. They hold on to crystals. We're still playing Final Fantasy XI online. I was hoping I could get my whole organizing of the uh, stuff done before the uh, start of the stream, but, you know, it's an MMO. Time gets away from you. It's Friday night, too. We're not too many rushes. I am the type of player that has trouble throwing stuff away. I've gotten better about it over the years, but if the game is going to let me hold 5,000 of each type of elemental crystal, I'm going to definitely do that. Mini Illusions, or OG however you prefer to be called. Happy Friday! Hopefully it's not, how shall we say, burning where you are. There's a... I'm not sure if the media is making it bigger than what it is, but oh my goodness, you would think that the entire state of California is on fire tonight. Usually the media makes it bigger than what it is. And in burning California, Texas, we had snow, like in South Texas. Miss Dallas. All the uh, towns that don't know what to do when there's snow, that's where it got hit. Houston, Laredo. You know, when I think of Laredo, I think, you know, desert. <laughs> that's kind of what it's like. That's not actually correct, but fun, fun, fun. It's actually kind of cold outside, though. It was like in the uh, 30s when I came home. So again, probably next Saturday is when I'm going to be back on. The week after next? Why are you coming back, Mini? 14 get boring? I bet 14 got boring. I don't know about that. I haven't actually heard anybody say anything about the uh, new expansion for 14. If it's like good or not good or could be better or best thing they've ever played. Or just more of the same. Let's, uh, actually, I, I still need to dump some inventory real fast. I say real fast. This is going to take about a minute. Maybe two. Minnie's going to try to stream. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to, uh, excuse me, post yet. Final Fantasy XIV is my home away from home. You would think, though, spend the entire day playing the game, or not playing the game, dealing with complaints in the game. It's like, this dude took my loot! Get him back. Like, well, how'd he get your loot? And like, well, we both rolled on it, and I obviously needed more than he did. I hope it's like that. Look for FF11 to once again become my home. At home. Oh, I see. I get it. All right, I don't want to accidentally sell something I want to keep. I'm gonna hold on to the Grimmonite only because you can like slice it open in Sylvina, and maybe something will hop out. Probably not, but you never know. Mithrin tomato. You can never find a medium. Goodbye. Cobalt jellyfish. Actually, really difficult to fish up when your fishing's too high. Best for dreams. Not used often enough. Giant catfish. Can slice those open, I think, but I don't think anything good comes out of them. Maybe it'd be like, what, an arrowwood log? 
Maybe another catfish? Never thought about that. This one... I'm gonna hold on to this one. I think we'll slice it open too. This one can go away. 292 gill that we did not have before. I tried planting a walnut into my gardening furrow thinking it's a hard-shelled nut. Think it would, you know, turn into a tree. No. Not at all. Fetched it for the first time in months this morning. First hand time? Of course, we know that's the uh, computer doing its autocorrect for you. It took about an hour. Really? Huh. That's not my patched song's computer. Yeah, it's a slow computer. You can hear the fans blowing full speed, the hard drive working about as hard as it can. It took like 10 minutes. I'm gonna do. sell that. Is that an XP machine? <laughs> I'm gonna sell something I don't want to. I probably already did. I'm gonna hold on to the dark steel, but the, the dark steel ore I use those for skill ups right now in smithing. Unfortunately, I don't get to. Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Don't get to make too much money off that. But every little bit's more than what you had before. More pugil scales. I can't go a day without selling those. Bone chips would go through quite a bit of, but. There are easier bone crafting recipes now at that particular level where I don't have to worry about demon arrowheads. Although the idea of farming a bunch of demons does kind of seem exciting. <laughs> Mithril leaf. Wow. I never understood the leaves in goldsmithing. You get like, take what, six of these and turn them into a mithril bar or something? Same thing with the gold. I guess it had to do with the fact that you could grow it in your mog house, I guess. I just tried to get taru taru rice. If I could get taru taru rice, I was happy because I was not going to buy that stuff on the auction list. Too expensive. But, oh well. Oryx sand. Hold on. Jub emote bard. Sell. It seems I backed up my mains macro only about a month before I stopped playing. Okay, hopefully you didn't change too many macros during that last month. Probably did. I would have. Alright, so tonight, you know we're running out of things to uh, do, and we're going to go to Abyssia, and we're going to do the quest in Abyssia, and it's going to be awesome. Trust me, it's going to be terrible. I'm never done questing in Abyssia, and I probably still wouldn't if it wasn't for the fact that I think if you do all the quests in Abyssia, then you get some type of special title and maybe something else, but then you'd be able to go to uh, Eshja, wherever and get another unlock to make yourself even more uber powerful than you were before. Let's go back to port. I'm sure it's not walking over there. Mog has. Yup. And again, I've never done this before. If you see me doing something terribly, terribly wrong, please let me know. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, thir only 13 tabs open on a Chrome, on a dense computer. Only things that are totally TOS compliant, TOS, Terms of Service, I guess. It's either that or the original series, Star Trek. That was only mild sarcasm. Huh. Bum, bum. All right, so constant. I don't even know if they call it constant highlands. I think they just call it constant. Maybe. Mm, walk in a straight line. Dent. Can be getting there anytime soon. All right, so I picked up the traverser stones from Eric earlier. So I'm going to talk to Ernst, and Ernst's going to be like, "Hey, where you want to go?" I'm like, "Anywhere you're going." No. Let's do a teleportation to a cavernous mall. Let's uh, let's do Constant. Yeah, Constant. Make it 
so that is so creepy i mean i i get it it's a different world it's different magic they don't use crystals they use weird stuff but something about that their teleportation thingamajig just don't seem right that's all i'm gonna say an unseen force is drawing you towards the mall now you're gonna click it you're gonna proceed and it's gonna be all like cutscene i remember when abyssia came out and everybody was so happy because the cavernous malls were a faster way of teleporting around the world don't have to use chocobos i was like this is great so all right as a gm i can be assured that they can't bag you for anything but an in-game confession to the use of tpts all right tpts are third party i have no idea programs <laughs> If you wish to journey within Abyssia, bring me Traverser Stones and I will grant you Visitant Status. Well, I want to request Visitant Status. I see you have 112 minutes of Visitant Status remaining from your previous visit. Um, max it out. It's like, you want an additional six minutes? I'm like, yeah. You sure? Because that's like a whole stone. I'm like, they're just tears, man. They're just tears. That's all they are. Infusionist. Infuse me. Third party tools. Doesn't the game already have enough third-party tools built into it? I mean, we got timers on our buffs. What more do we need? <laughs> a windowed version of the game. Everything else is just, you know, gravy, icing. Oh, no, no, I'm hungry. No more food references. Let us... I have no idea, so I'm just going to reinfuse the previous atmosphere. set. One of these days, I will actually go out there, take a look, figure out which ones would be best for me and what I'm doing but it's not gonna be tonight otherwise we'd spend all 120 minutes going what does this do mm. we're going to exchange for enhancement effects things that are totally not TOS compliant mini map well, you never know you might have that map you know as a little itty bitty customized window floating on top of the uh, screen Yes. All right. And I don't really want to mess too much with trust NPCs. I'm, I'm going to keep a Peru out just because. A Peru. But, uh. That should be enough. And then we will do Bestial Loyalty. Kitty. We'll bring up the. Yeah. Let's, let's do Bert. No, let's do Kitty. Kitty. Come here, Kitty. All right, we got Akimochi. We got 29 minutes of uh, awesome food stuff. So I'll make a gear swapping. That is a complete pain in the butt to configure. You talking about in the game, or are you talking about the uh, copy paste that everybody else does? Let's see. First one we're gonna try and do is called Hope Blooms on the Battlefield. I might have accidentally already flagged this one in the past, like 10 years, but we'll see. Um, flag the quest at Ayame, and she's got the uh, letter A next to it, base camp. Who wants you to collect three key items in order to repair the barriers? These can be found in repair trunks scattered about the encampment, including behind the mall and past the ward. Once you have obtained all three items, talk to Rybot, who is standing next to the Searing Ward. Alright, return to Ayame to complete the quest. So... I think my first stream back is going to be Road to Master Dancer. Master Dancer. Why can't it be Solid Gold Dancer? Because, speaking of Solid Gold, uh, NVIDIA, their new Titan card went out today. $3,000. And really all it's supposed to do is help with like AI and all this stuff. But it comes in gold and black, so... Your <laughs> most powerful card. 1,500 points on the dancer. You're almost there. I mean, shoot. 1,500. That's like a week's worth. We'll go from like 1,500 to 2,100 this time next week. All right, we're going to talk to her. See if she's going to give us a quest. You there. We're in need of a few good women. If you've time to stand about 
How about lending your strength to the cause? Yours is an unfamiliar face. What do they call you? I didn't get to say that. She must have read my name tag. <gasps> or the name floating above my head. That's it. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Cyndaquil. As I said a moment ago, we could certainly use your aid. We came under attack from a particularly vicious horde not hours ago. See? Fortunately, we suffered no casualties. But the Searing Ward protecting our encampment is on its last legs. If the ward breaks, you can bet we'll be overrun with fiends in the blink of an eye. We must repair it. And immediately. Rybot, I guess that's the Galka, is in charge of maintenance. But we need someone to deliver to him the necessary materials. The supplies may be found scattered throughout this encampment. Collect them and make haste. The enemy is ever snapping at our heels. It's like it's 2012 all over again. <clears throat> wow, it's sarcasm. So, the only one I remember is there's something behind the uh, teleporter. There's a mall. There it, yeah, there it is. Repair trunk. Going over here. Then it's going to be get Dancer Master, get my Aeonic, get my Mythic. That could probably be done. Yeah, that, that seems very reasonable. Alright, the casket is filled to the brim with rainbow pearls. Just when you thought this place was all doom and gloom, and they start passing out rainbow pearls. Then work on some relic empty things. Empty? Or empty? Yeah, empty. Repair trunk. It appears sturdily built. Well, what about this one? The casket is filled to the brim with chipped wind clusters. This, this is like Square Enix's first attempt at a uh, fetch quest, isn't it? Bet it is. And solo all the things. <laughs> ah! And click. Appears sturdily built. Hey, look everyone! It's Robot. He's like, if can't. Reach it, repair trunk too far away. Yeah, like, hello. Guys, get this filled to the brim with pieces of dried ebony lumber because you certainly don't want wet ebony lumber. And we're just going to shove all this into the uh, portal and make it better. Ron Farcat! Happy Friday. Mm -mm -mm. You brought those for me? Much obliged, friend. I'll get right to on the repairs. You can tell Captain Ayame that the ward will hold steady for a while longer. Who made her captain? Happy Friday. <laughs> Only if you don't have a... Oh, shit, I got a ton of stuff I gotta do tomorrow. It's like, month of December. Kitty! Don't stand on the captain. I go, go talk to her. Kitty's just, you know, eh. There, it's a little bit better, but I don't know where the kitty's nose is. Thank you, friend. You served us well. Are you, are you with another regiment? I, I, well, that said wish, and I'm like, are you with? I, no. Are you with another regiment, perhaps? I've not seen you around these parts before. In any event. I should explain. I am Ayame. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I say it. A captain of the Resistance effort. So what's this I hear about Relic 119 plus 2 plus 3? Psh, you work for Square Enix. I haven't heard anything. In the days before the Republic fell, I served as one of the Mithril Musketeers, the President's finest. Yes, fell, I say. Did you take a blow to the head somewhere along your journey? Eh, that was at one time. Why? There has been no Bastog ever since the first wave of fiends came and reduced the metalworks to little more than a smoldering scrap heap. Our vaunted Republican army was soon overwhelmed. It was all we could do to round up the surviving civilians and lead them to safer ground. Dot, dot, dot. We thought to make for Gustaberg until a massive landslide, unlike any I'd ever seen, sealed the path off right before our eyes. 
Left with nowhere else to run, we set up a makeshift base of operations here, from which we wage a desperate struggle for our very survival. I know not where you hail from, but in this land, we must pool all of our wits and strength just to live to see the morrow. If you would be of aid to our cause, seek out the engineer Rybot once more. You would have a suitable task for you. Now, I must return to my duties. Go safely, friend. So her duties basically hang up by the flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wrong division. I have almost nothing to do with the 11 department. Yeah, but don't you get to like have lunch with them? Be the same. Uh, or do they keep that all segregated? They don't do segregation in California, do they? They're dark about most things up the whole. <laughs> If I was to take a guess, relic plus two plus three, it's like, so would you have to have it shiny first or like how can you make Burke game better? There are only like four guys working the shifts down there anyway. Poor suckers. It's like I almost want to uh, send a help desk message to a GM and it's like uh, OG Illusions is telling me something about plus two plus three. He wanted to know a little bit more but he's afraid to ask. If you all like. Go home, Dan. You're drunk. Uh, Rybot is supposed to give us our next quest and apparently these are not the kind of quests that put you into a cutscene. Ah, the young woman who brought me my materials. I have a name. It's floating over my head and more easy to pronounce than yours. Talking about relic armor? Oh, the plus two plus three? I thought you said weapons. Why did I see? I don't know, but yeah. That's uh, that's already out. <laughs> uh, Sandy, uh, Dynamis Divergent Sandoria. That's where you get the uh, relic plus two plus three feats. And then Monday is when the next version update is, I think. That's going to be Bastok, I guess. And then plus two, plus three stuff. So it's like Dynamis 1.0 days. They say it's great. I'm kind of scared to go in there. So so we're out here in Abyssia, Heidi. I'm much in your debt for that one. I've just finished up the preliminary repairs, but it'll be a while still before we're back at two full strength. And then I've got the Martellos to look after. No rest for the weary engineer, I tell you. You're familiar with our little mar what are you gonna call them marshmallows? With our martellos, are you not? Uh Marwettos? That would be bad on me. Quite a few people know my twitch around the office. What? I'm not supposed to advertise that stuff. I remember one gentleman at work asked me, what does dental mean? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, it's got to mean something, right? I'm like, that was the non-work appropriate answer. And instead I went with a choice B, and I just Google Dendril image search. And it was like, I guess about half a dozen um, mug shots. Not of me. <laughs> they were up there, and then as you scroll further down, you start seeing uh, the, what you call it, little thumbnails for all my YouTube videos. And I was like, that's me. Oh, no, yeah, that's one's me, that one's me, that one's me. That's all right. So, you're like a thug. And I'm like, mm, I kind of view myself more as an enlightened monk. But yeah, we punched up. Anyways, more what O's. Oh yeah, and a co-worker asked if I, he should follow my Twitch. And I'm like, mm, no, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. I'm like, no. The thing I use Twitter for is uh, complaining when the internet goes out. Or the power. Sometimes both. Marwatos is the response. Is that so? I'm surprised anyone can make it this far without encountering one. Very well. The Martello is a defensive structure conceived by resistance engineers that serve as the keystones of our fortifications. They run on a sort of magical fuel, you see. So long as the tanks are kept full, they'll serve to heal your wounds, revitalize your battle-weary body and mind. So long as the tanks are full, and therein lies the road. I would have thought they do Seeker's areas for that instead of remastering their original Dynamis 
areas. Really? It's just, I mean, they've had all year to work on it. And what we're thinking is this time next year, we'll probably start to see Abyssia 2.0, where we can start getting the Empyrean plus two and plus threes. And that may very well be interesting. What with all of us fighting for our lives, it's all too easy to neglect to replenish the things until it's too late. And that's why we all must learn to do our part. Here, take this vat of Martello fuel. I'm just going to carry this in my mug sack. And find yourself a Martello in need of replenishment. It's a simple enough act, and one that could someday mean a difference between life and death. For you or one of your comrades. So you do well to make a habit of it. See the Martello just over yonder? Uh, oh, okay, yeah. It's like right around the corner. Why don't you try your hand at replenishing its fuel stores while you're at it? The more comfortable you become with the procedure, the better it will serve us all. Is there like any chance that the Martello fuel will like burst into flames? It probably is. That would be like that 5% chance. You go walking with this vat of fuel and just goes boom. I'm like, oh no, I'm on fire. But what am I supposed to do? Let's see. It's called Of Malnourished Martellos. Speak with Rybot at the based encampment. He will give you a vat of Martello fuel to go and refuel the Martellos. The Martello is located just past the ward. First, you choose to start replenishing. When checking again, you get a choice to replenish from a direction, aka north or east. Choose that option. When successful, the message will be something like the Martell's energy has recovered by 200. Replenishment effort was an unparalleled success. This quest is a practice for the refuel and replenish quest. In this quest alone, the Martello does not have to be missing a certain amount of energy to be refueled. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to that. Report to Riba A to complete the quest. This quest... I don't have to wait for the airplane to land. This quest cannot be repeated. It is a practice quest. The next quest, Refuel and Replenish Constant, can be repeated. Alright, so... Now over here, the empty head increases the effect of Climactic first. Which forces a crit with 10% crit damage. With the 119 MP head, you get a three plus 35% crit on the first half of any weapon skill. First hit of any weapon skill. Boom, boom, boom. So we got a KSO1 Martello over here. It seem it, it kind of looks tanky, doesn't it? Maybe just a little bit. Maybe not. Or clicking it. It's gonna be like, what do you want to do? Cover HP, cover from stale segments, prepare to replenish Martello. Let's do that last one. And prepare to replenish this Martello. Yes. Alright, the replenish the Martello, please ex I, I was reading. <laughs> there we go. To replenish the Martello, please examine it from the east. Please be aware that your positioning directly impacts the efficiency of the process. You can replenish only one Martello at any given time. To commence work on another, you must wait for the process to be completed or canceled. All right, so I'm... Um, east is to my back. I hope this is how you're supposed to do it. Otherwise, I'm screwing it up. Let us... Cease replenishing, replenish, replenish from the west. All right, replenish from the west. Friends from this direction? No, no, no. Let's go over here. Click it again, and then see if it says replenish from the east. And then it says replenish from the west. Why is it being like that? It said east earlier. Uh, wait, that side was west though, wasn't it? It was west. I'll stay right here. Promise. All right, try it one more time. Replenish from the west. Replenish from this direction. Yeah, sure. 
The Martello's energy has been recovered by zero. The replenishment effort was an unparalleled success. Zero. Oh, everybody's a winner in Final Fantasy XI, apparently. Sorry. Let's, um... Gulk is gonna slap me. He's like, you done messed it up. Probably. No, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Kind of. The Martello's you'll encounter in the field are key to our survival. Should you see one in need of replenishment, we ask that you lend a helping hand. We've tasked a dedicated machine outfitter with the supervision of all Martello-related matters around camp. Should you wish to assist further with replenishment repair, I encourage you to seek him out. He will furnish you with the necessary materials as well as do recompense upon your successful return. Mind you, you'll want to report back swiftly after finishing a job. We've far too much on our hands here to keep tabs on stragglers. I kind of like this version of Rybot. He seems a bit more laid back than the one that hangs out of Sid's office. The one that hangs out of Sid's office has a serious chip on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Makes for quite the darkness skill. Oh, you were talking about the uh, Imperium 119 piece? It is cool. We were talking about crits the other night. Was it last night? Felt like last night. Wondering, is it possible to uh, make every attack you do a critical hit? Because that would be cool. But Odin says it can only go up to uh, 95%. That is the highest cap. And can you imagine 95%? Everything you do being a crit? That would be awesome. Alright, so that was of Malnourished Martellos. Next one's going to be called... Oh, Refuel and Replenish. Apparently this one's repeatable. The Machine Outfitter will give you a key item, Vat Martello Fuel, to go and repair Martellos. The Martellos fuel level must be 89% or below of maximum capacity for you to be able to replenish it. Choose to start replenishing. Choose to replenish from the direction offered. The direction affects the reward you get. Northwest recovers 100, East recovers 200, stuff like that. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to uh, the dude. I think that's what I said. 95%. I'd be happy with 60%. I think that's what I responded with. 60% would be good. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday, whoosh. I've got cold outside. My lips are all chapped because I had the heater going because the cat... Oh, cat was like, cold! Wake up, human. Make it warm. And it's not impossible to get that high. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't say. It's still warm here until tomorrow. Oh, no. Didn't they, like, shut everything down in Atlanta because... What was it, like, half an inch of snow that doesn't melt? Or was that... No, that was years ago, when people were abandoning their cars on the interstate because of a half an inch of ice. I can't go any further. Farewell, car. <laughs> Martellus come again. Assist with replenishment. Nothing in particular. Let's do assist with replenishment. Splendid! Your raid is a great boon to the resistance at port. To replenish a martello, you'll need to insert one of these vats of martello fuel into the structure. Be forewarned, you will be unable to carry these and fuel reservoirs at the same time. Take along the vat of martello fuel? Yeah, sure, I don't even know what that is. Warning! Changing areas, logging out, or becoming disconnected will cause all data pertinent to this quest to be reset. Ha! We would be particularly indebted to you for efficient punishment of Martellos in remote locations. Best of luck in your efforts. 75 here at the moment. It's supposed to get back into the 60s, like tomorrow or Sunday, so... It was like... The snow in southern Texas, that was just cold front meeting moist gulf air. That sounds dirty sometimes. Um... And it likes snow. It didn't stick. It didn't freeze. I don't think it froze. Nobody told me it froze. But I've been in, lived in Houston one time back in the 80s when it was snowing. And my parents all woke up and they're like, get the kids. Look, it's snow. You know, they came from Brownsville, so they never saw the stuff. But I'm like, okay, can I go back to bed? 
Because even back then, very little impressed me. You don't aggro, do you? You're a big lizard, aren't you? Alright, so we are looking for Martellos in all the wrong places. Now I remembered why it was that I thought maybe we should do this on Thief. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, let's see if I can find a uh, thingamajig. Here we go. Just do a straight line run. We're going to open up the map. We're going to do a wide scan. We're looking for Martello probably at the bottom. Okay, never mind. I guess they won't show the uh, Martellos on the thingy because, you know, that would be too easy. Okay, that lizard looked angry. Very, very angry. I remember my first time in Abyssia. I was like, alright, I'll go in there. I think I took Cyndaquil with me. Maybe I took Mugito. I don't remember if you can actually bring your adventuring fellow. And then, let's find out. Mount. This section cannot be used in this area. Can't mount. Not yet. It's kind of like a dungeon. Kind of like a dungeon. Can't mount up in dungeons. It's just a really big dungeon. That looks like Constant Highlands. With mobs and stuffs. But no weather effects. I think they'd have weather effects. Dang, this is slow. <laughs> See, if I got on Thief, then we would have Movement Speed and Treasure Hunter, and that would have been awesome. It's like, feet don't fail me now, but now it's like... Almost want to hop on the kitty. It's like, come on, Randy! And a Puru catch up. Oh, lagging behind. Actually, I'd be surprised if a Puru is actually riding the Randy. Writing the Randy. I think I just came up with a new title for my next book. I'm making about tartar tartars and kitties. Crazy cat ladies. There we go. I don't know if they have a uh, Martello out in this direction. I've never been out in this direction before. So we're going to go check. These things are probably all aggro. I should probably use a spectral jig. Spectral jigging! It's like the whole reason why we sub dancer. Ta-da! And turn around, something like smacks me in the side of the head. It's like, we aggro to job abilities, didn't you know that? <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything along this wall. Let's start running over here. I'm not seeing anything along this wall either. Dancer would have been better. Chocobo Jig 2 last four minutes. But then I wouldn't have had my wacky pet. A kitty cat. I think. No. Yeah, I would not have had my wacky cat. Can only get it as Denzer Mane. T H I. Though. That, that's not how you spell flow either. <laughs> oh well. We'll just start saying the Fi Thigh So Thumb. We're taking the scenic route to this place. Apparently, I'm eventually going to have to hit a notorious monster or something. That should be fun. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. I'll give it a try. I wonder, is it possible with five trust NPCs, a level 75 or level 80 character, taking down the zone boss? Probably not, but yeah. FF11, also known as Walking the Game. More like sneaking, because if you just walked anywhere, then you would have been like, Oh no, I've been charmed by a, what is the name of the uh, Dance Macabre thing's corpse thingy? Been drinking a bit. No, many. You drink? And it's very disconcerting having a whoosh and many illusions, colors the same color. It's all like, it's all blue. Trotting saplings. I bet they're too weak. No, incredibly easy prey. <laughs> Kahlua mixed with a bit of Jack Daniels. It's a Friday night, so why not drink? That's a good question. I don't have a good answer for that. I mean, I got a 
have like too much liquor surrounding me. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd be one of those guys that started storing my liquor in the desk, but you know, you know those, some of those days. There. Pour the watch just a little. Kahlua is okay. I like it better with like ice cream. If I want to, you know, something that tastes like coffee, I drink coffee. Cheers, by the way. That's not bad. It was the amaretto that I poured into my uh, coffee cup. Shoot, I should start doing this at work. I'm like, hey, Doc. I don't need uh, anti anxiety medications anymore. Started drinking them. <laughs> We all grew up and decide that comfort beats looks. <laughs> Wait, are you? No. And a coworker today. I think she was wearing leather pants. I didn't ask because, you know, with the political climate right now, that could come back and haunt me in 20 years. Um, but you know, when I was her age. I had a pair of leather pants. Well, they weren't real leather. They were pleather because leather's expensive. Can't fit in those anymore. Can't fit in anything to look cool anymore. Now it's all just, you know, khakis and t-shirts and it's great. Got a paper bag with fireball shots at Square Enix in my desk. Really? They don't look for that kind of stuff? I meant that you have your bottles right there at your computer desk instead of locked away in a distant liqueur cabinet. Well, if I had kids... Or roommates, then yeah, I'd probably have to keep them locked up, but you know, I'm not working. I stand at work all the time. I'm gonna sit down here. Although I did think about the health benefits, is a kitty, kitty's all, almost old enough to drink. <laughs> kitty's a legal adult, she's 18. <laughs> <sighs> but we're gonna. Let's not go any further into that, because, you know... Kitty's not my girlfriend. She's my cat. And she probably sees it the other way around. And like, human! He ain't my boyfriend. He's my human. And that's all we're gonna say about that. I wonder if I've got this thing unlocked. And that's one of the things about trying to do a busier on the quick. I must have it already unlocked. Because I can... Kitty is a kitty? Kitty is dependency. Little black and white kitty. Kitty is your permanent designated driver. Ah! She hates the car. Oh my goodness. Spectral jig. We've already been here 30 minutes. My food effect wore off. Wow. Talk about going slow, Dent. Mm -hmm. I always find it funny that coworkers, coworkers, drinking buddies are like, hey, Dent, you want to be a designated driver? And hey, look, it's a purple wyvern. And let's. It's like I almost want to send a kitty after it, but no, that's not what we're here for. <laughs> Quit chasing me. I feel like I'm under attack by, you know, wyverns and stuff. And I thought, maybe they think since I'm older that I would be a better designated driver. But, really, I just... I'm almost at that point now where if I've had like one cocktail, I'm thinking maybe I should call a cab. They don't call cabs anymore, though. It's all Uber, isn't it? I think it's all over. But if that was the case... Oh, wait. Uber got hacked, didn't they? <gasps> That's right! I heard somebody talking. It was, uh... They were fighting with their credit card company because somebody... Uh, somebody used Uber to drive across Australia using this woman's credit card. And this woman's like, I have never even been to Australia. Can't you see by my credit transactions that I was in North America at that time? Like, well, they had your credit card. And you're like, you know, Uber gets hacked. And you're like, yeah, but it's a lot of money. And it's like, 
who drives across Australia? It's all like, hey! But yeah, time to get food, bust out the good alcohol, got some DiGiorno and sweet vermouth. That was nasty. Well, at least the vermouth I've always had was nasty. So like, no, 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 that's what you need to add to a martini to make it a martini. And I'm like, you know what? Don't want it. Not that important. It's just, it's just gonna take a drop. And like, there's a reason for that. Pour too much in, it's gonna be like, gross. All right, let's go talk to this thing, see if it'll let us, uh, you know. All right, it's at level 99. So, let's see, recover status ailments. Please note the martello recast time is 25 minutes. So no. Can we recover something bigger? Like 30. Yeah, recover MP. And yes. Yeah, I got 67 MPs. Let's see if it'll let me, uh... Try to replenish. Replenish! To replenish Martillo, please examine it from the east. Which is almost this way. Excuse me. To commence work on another, you must either something, 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 and then use some great value branded vermouth. I don't know. It was a bartending school when uh, I last learned about it. Lanos! Happy Friday, Lanos. I hope this is east. I hope this is, yeah. Replenish from the northwest. What? It said east. <sighs> Did this game make up its mind? From the northwest. I want to click in. Move in a little bit closer. Try this again. Replenish from the northwest. Yes. Mortello's energy has recovered by 30. The replenish effort was an unparalleled success. So now I get to run all. Oh God, we get to run all the way back. Come on, kitty. The seal has been broken. Don't even know how many 80s horror movies have just popped in my head with that line. I think it was one Demi Moore was in. When she was like, really young and almost unknown. <laughs> or I might be thinking of somebody else. I'm probably thinking of somebody else. God, that was 30 years ago. It was bad enough when the 90s was like 10 years ago, and Mrs. and I were like, wow. It's 2004. We're like, yeah. It was like 10 years after Kurt Cobain died. It was like, that, it, no. It doesn't seem like it was all that long ago. It was like, back in 94, when you were looking back in 1984, that seemed like a really freaking long time. But, oh my goodness. Oh well. Cheers. <sighs> Apparently everybody's getting drunk on Twitch tonight. Well, inebriated. I'm not drunk. I'm not even tipsy. Not yet. Because then the cat will wake up and start serenading and going like, meh. Gotta be quiet though, she'll hear me. She'll be like, Someone's making fun of me. Woosh doesn't drink. Good for you, Woosh. It's a very expensive habit. The only thing more expensive than being an alcoholic is being a smoker. Oh my goodness. There's a pack of cigarettes. They're like eight bucks now. Eight bucks! They're like, they raising the prices because of taxes, or are they just raising prices because... There's not many smokers left because they've all died. I shouldn't be talking about cigarettes. I'm going to want a cigarette now. Focus. Much easier to pill for folks' gills when they're drunk and handing you their keys. And they'll be like, you're the bestest friend I've ever... Actually, no. It was... Now that I think about it. Met some very, very interesting people whilst under the influence of a. How shall we say? Liquid toxins. And, uh. Yeah. 
We turned out to be some pretty good friends that way. Of course, when I sobered up, they stopped wanting to hang out with me, so I was like, yeah. I'm starting to worry about my liver. I'm not thinking it can uh, hold out for long. <laughs> He's so boring. All he ever does is play that Final Fantasy XI game. Drive everyone home, stop for gas, four times along the way. <laughs> No. That's like a regular trip to anywhere with the missus, though. Just like, we gotta pull over. Like, why? Gotta go to the bathroom. You just went. No. That was like three minutes ago. It's an exaggeration. But most men that have gone on car trips with women don't say anything. Because, you know. Nothing good will come of that, but, yeah, you know. Can't you just hold it? I can't hold it. You, like, you always say you can't hold it. I think you can. You want me to wet myself? I'm like, uh -huh. No. No, not really, because then I have to deal with that. <laughs> oh. How did my parents ever do with it? And it's like sometimes you'll see in the news something terrible. Mother kills her three children, then kills herself. And it's like, that's terrible. How could somebody ever do that? And I'm like, well... Have you ever been around kids? Not saying that justifies... What's a good word for childhood homicide? We'll just call it... No, let's not give it a word. But, yeah. Be stressful. Some people crack under the stress. Unfortunately. I might be one of those people. Which is why I'm still not going to have kids. The plan was always, if we make it to our 50s, and we're financially secure, we can always adopt. And we'll just, like, skip the first five years of potty training and diapers and all the messy stuff. Yeah, actually, yeah. Now that I think about it, that might be the way to go. Ah, kids. Can't throw them down a well. Can't throw them down a well. <laughs> Wait, there was that one gal in Texas. This was almost 30 years ago now. Don't remember her name. It was like the country came to a standstill. She fell down, you know, a well. But it wasn't a very big well. It wasn't something. It was quite literally the size of this coaster. And no idea how she fell down that, but it was like all three because there were only three news agencies back then networks, they were all in her backyard all these people there and trying to rescue this little girl and they rescued her and so there was even a fundraiser to uh, put into a trust for her uh, what you call it, future because of a uh, pre-existing conditions and all those other medical ailments that she would have. And unfortunately, when the economy crashed in 2008, a lot of that money disappeared as well. But she's married, she has kids of her own, she's happy, healthy, and I guess blissfully doesn't even remember any of that. But, you know. Dentral. Trove of useless information. <laughs> Machine outfitter, am I done? Welcome back, friend. Allow me to take that empty fuel vat off your hands. How did you fare in your efforts? Oh, I thought there was going to be a multiple choice for response. I see, I see. Artello number seven, you say? It sounds as if the operation was an unqualified success. They really like this unqualified successes. What would you do if, you know, you're at work, you're up for evaluation, and down at the bottom, they write, Unqualified Success! Exclamation point. It's like, what, it doesn't qualify? Maybe it does. The Resistance greatly values your contributions. Take this as a small token of our appreciation, and do not hesitate to return the next time you are willing to lend your support. Alright, so we got 52 per war. Yay. Next. 
All right, so this is going to be called Rose on the Heath. All right, we're going to talk to Aime at the base camp. We're going to try to talk to her. I think this requires a little bit of fame. And I don't know if I have a little bit of fame. Let's go find out. So if I don't, then it's going to get awkward. It's probably going to get awkward. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ayami. Kitty! Abilities. Pet commands. Stay. I've always wanted to do that. Kuru is going to get in the way now next, isn't she? OMG, I died. Kenpachi! That's the kind of angry face I sometimes make. <laughs> Cyndaquil, I'm glad you've come. I've been watching you closely <laughs> since you first arrived in our camp, and I stand convinced you have the potential to be a great ally to our cause. Before I go any further, anybody else notice that her hands are disproportionately large and, how shall we say, um, they look larger than her head. And, oh dear, old moly donut shop. I said that right. Oily moly donut shop. Dent. Happy Friday, by the way. To do up in arms, do I need to get level 60 gear or will 119 gear work? Up in arms. We could try on she likes to watch. It's all creepy. All the better to grip her. <laughs> Lano says gear will scale to level 60. May not get full stats from it, though. Up in arms. I'm trying to remember up in arms. You'd think I would, but oh well. Say it with me, buddy. Holy moly. Donut shop. Holy. Oh. So I didn't see the H in the beginning. Holy moly. Don't... Now I want donuts. Happy Friday. <laughs> It's the Kraken Club BC. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you don't need level 60 gear. You don't. Um, you can go in with 119 gear. It will not be... Uh, it won't take all your uh, clothes away. And yeah. I think the merits that you have play a lot more into it than the gear you would have at level 60. And all the other stuffs. But yeah. Very good, buddy. One free bear claw for you at lunch. How long has it been since I had a bear claw? Oh my goodness. Shut up, belly. Now I'm starting to wonder. Actually, no. Dunkin' Donuts does deliver now. I saw your video from February and you were like doing 2k on Beast. Does it ignore? I... I might have more to do with the food. Um... Probably more the gear. I don't even know if the job points that you've put into uh, Beastmaster will carry over to like a level sync thing. I, I McDonald's delivers now too. McDonald's can keep their food. I don't want to spend the rest of the evening in the bathroom. Um, sorry, but uh, I really wish I could give you a better answer than uh, I, I think some of the stats will carry over. Maybe not, but... And I always triple box it. I never soloed it. Or, sometimes I double box it and work with Lanos. Never soloed it, and I think that's the only reason why we were able to uh, clear it as quickly as we did, just because, you know, you had three times the... Uh, kitties. Not kitties. Three times the uh, crab people. Courier carries. Yeah. So, what did you just do, Talia? Talia? Talia. So, what did you just do? I don't know. I'm trying to remember. What did I use? Hi! I don't remember February very well. It was a long, long time ago. I'd have to watch the video again. Ambuscade Beast Gear. Probably! It probably would have been the Ambuscade Pet Gear. Um, because that's like... I still use that set, and I think I've been using that set pretty much since I started on Beast, and I'll probably be using that set when they turn the server off, because I think it looks cool, but that's just me. You gonna hop in my lap, or 
You're just going to uh, stare at me with a rather upset look on your face. Come on. Yeah. That's it. Thank God all day. Anyways, back to Ami and her uh, man hands. I've been watching you closely since you first arrived in our camp, and I stand convinced you have the potential to be a great ally to our cause. I have a most vital task that I would entrust to you. Good luck. I hope you get a cracking club. Those things are awesome. Embu pet set is quite good. Hmm, back to this. I have the most vital task that I would entrust to you. The link shell that was our sole line of communication to our field regiments suffered irreparable damage in the last incursion. Did somebody step on it? Somebody stepped on it. Working together, we stand a chance, however slim. Splintered and isolated, we are as good as done for, Cyndaquil. You must seek out our lost squadrons and deliver these Link Pearls before it's too late. There are three regiments, all told. One was on patrol just north of here when we lost contact with them. I fear I have no information on the whereabouts of the other two. You may entrust the Link Pearls to the acting commander of each regiment. Kitty's like, seriously pissed off right now. I'm gonna lock you up. You wanna get locked up? Yeah, I didn't think so. She crushed it in her oak. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I forget the name of the uh, cartoon. It was on Adult Swim a while back. There was a character called, what was it, Professor Girlfriend? And it was just this female evil scientist person that talked like a guy. <laughs> she mashed it over Naji's head. That's why he's hiding. This seal will serve to identify you as a member of the resistance. Should anyone ask for you for the password, it is Rose on the Heath. Be swift, yet wary cynically. Venture Brothers, there you go. Dr. Girlfriend from the Venture Brothers. Thank you. Could be Ayame. Probably is. Alright, so before we get kicked out of here, because we only got probably less than an hour left. And let me Diana. I said that right. Happy Friday. This way. Oh, kitty. Shoot. Abilities, pet commands. Heal. Will that bring him back? That brings back a angry kitty. That's right. Maybe that's why kitty's pissed off. Don't you chew on me. She's all like, hungry. Time to eat human. I was watching a Deep Space Nine episode. Or I've actually been re-watching the entire series. Um, I always watch Star Trek when I play Star Trek online. And it was the episode where uh, Odo and Quark, spoilers on a 25-year-old TV show, by the way, are um, flying in a runabout. They crash on a planet. This is when Odo wasn't a changeling and he was still humanoid and stuff. And they have to climb a mountain together without any food or climbing gear. And it's freezing because they need to be closer to space to be able to use a... Uh, how shall we say, signal repeater thingy that makes them a... Uh... I forget what I'm talking about now. It was silly, but it was just basically... Odo fell, broke his leg, Cork makes a uh, makeshift... Uh, I forget what they call the little beds that the... They put you on and then the military carries you over to like a helicopter and... Yeah, a gurney! Makes a little makeshift gurney and starts dragging Odo and the uh, heavy telecommunication satellite thing up the mountain. And Odo's going, you should just leave me and carry the thing up by yourself. It's like, and uh, Quark's all, are you kidding? After you die, your dinner. Yes. Yep. And eat the Odo. Well, how did I get on that? Kitty! Kitty was trying to eat me earlier. All right. Brought it back, all the way to the beginning. I remember being really drunk, seeing a naked, bloody Brock Sampson driving through a window. LOL. Good times. 
H. Galeon, happy Friday. There was a poker game that the missus had on her Xbox. Brock Sampson was one of the poker players. He was one of the more difficult ones to defeat, if I remember correctly. I only have a few achievements in that. I should probably re-download it. Finish that off. It, it was on the fun side. Also had Sam and Max. Although I think they cheated. Maybe it was just Sam. It's probably just Sam. Or maybe just Max. Max was a crazy bunny, right? I think. God, that was almost 20 years ago. That was 20 years ago. And then uh, had Ash from the Evil Dead. And I'll uh, finish murdering my monk. Congratulations, got Children's Spiral to Max. And Capped Guard. Wow. Congratulations. Leveled from 200 capacity in about 45 minutes. Did you do it the uh, fight in the Mandy's? That would have been the way I would have probably have done it since they. <laughs> They don't hit that hard. I mean, they. I guess they could. I'm gonna do wide scan. I'm. Pavon. Hey, he's like right in front of me. Gotta be careful. Red Canyon. Resistance fighters. And yeah, those guys. Full 30 Mandy's and Abyssia. Just use bare hands. That sounds cool. Okay, so. I just have to keep going north. It looked like. Because there were like green dots. Right in front of me. Right? Yeah, there they are. Should be right on top of Here we go! Sub Red Mage for Phalanx, and we're minus DT gear. That's cool. So we got Red Canyon sitting. He's probably the one in command. Then we have a Resistance Fighter over there. Resistance Fighter over there. We got Rashid over here. Rashid, are you the one in charge? You there! This is a danger zone! That's that song from Top Gun. I suggest you get out of here, and quickly. A stray beam of light catches Cynic Wolves, seal of the Resistance, causing it to gleam for a moment. That seal. Hmm. Rose on the heath, you say? Reinforcements? <laughs> well, why didn't you say so, my good? What's that? You brought us a Link Pearl? A most heartening turn of events this. Why, when we lost communication all of a sudden, my men and I feared the worst. You hand over Captain Rashid's Link Pearl. We were on patrol when we got word that the base was under attack from the hordes. With our other two squads such a long ways from home, we thought to make a swift return and aid in the defense. Those fiends had other plans for us, though. It's like, do you mind? I'm trying to chat here, and you're like... Massive delay on both their weapons. We were ambushed and barely escaped with our lives. Lost some civilians too, we did. Weighs heavy on this soldier's heart. What we really need is to return to base. But budge even an ilm from this place in our current state and we'd be sitting slugs. No! It's all we can do to keep the Martello operational and attend to our wounded. Perhaps you could help us. I beg of you. You can see dire straits we are. You can see the dire straits we are in. You see the fellow at work over there by the Martello. That's Julio, an alchemist who's taken refuge in our camp. In return for our protection, we've put him to task, making basic supplies for us. Talk to him. Tell him you've come to help. So we're not done with this quest yet, are we? All right, Julio. Oh, he's got the angry face with the tattoos on the top of his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's okay. I could whip up these soothing potions in my sleep. Yeah, what do you want? This soothing potion's not for you? If that's what you're thinking. You heard me, this is private property. I don't care how tough times are. If you resistance types think you can walk around borrowing everything you damn well please, We've got another think coming. He's drinking. It is Friday. Of course, I can't talk too big. You guys do keep this martello over my head, after all. I'm feeling generous, so I'll cut you a deal. 
You fetch me my materials, and I'll fetch you one of the spares. Why not? How about that? A resistance lady who ain't so busy fighting to remember the folk she's fighting for. Three purple polypores I'll be needing. And try not to take all day, will you? Polypores. Polypores. Hold on. No idea what that is. Almost done with monk cake to cap as well. Just need four more dies. Congrats. All right, all right, all right. We got Rose on the Heath. And then we're going to do the Soul of the Matter. That's not it. Um, that's not it. Full of himself, Alchemist. There we go. Talk to Ulio, located at Camp Courage. All right. Trade on three purple polypores for your rail. Nope. Nope. The next quest in the series requires fame for Check your fame. All right. It didn't really say where the purple polypores come from, so let's find out. Purple polypore. A rare mushroom said to have medicinal properties. Obtained from Shadow Fungars, 82 to 85, a busy punch test. So I guess that's where we're going. Mushrooms, fun fungars, in here. I'm going to need a treasure hunter, won't I? thought that was a fish attacking him for a second. Taking a day off. Yay, days off. That's what tomorrow is. Um, no, no. Position says, well, we're up in 60 minutes. I hate it when that happens. Map, white skin, saplings, razorbacks, ragwort. That might be it. And Julio. Let's, let's go check out a ragwort track. This way. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Run this way. Get Spectral Jig ready. This thing's probably gonna die super quick. Actually, we'll see. Northeast from you. Why, thank you. Going back this way now. Apparently, it's not a hoary wreck. <laughs> Abilities, pet commands. And let's do leave. And then Bestial Loyalty should be back up since it's been an hour. And Spectral Digging Time. It's near the area with the notorious monster to rule spawn next to the buggers. So I know exactly where that is. <laughs> New in map, white skin, stopping that. <laughs> Shadow Fungar. How did I forget that name? Let's see. That's not map. Here's map. Map, map, map. White skin. Emerald sod stuff. There we go. Shadow Fungars. I am running it right. It's right there. Of course it is. See how quickly. Not amigo deals with this. It's got to turn around a little slowly. All right, didn't get any drops. Suppose I can just aggro a bunch of them. Do they aggro? They should totally aggro. Why don't you aggro? Oh my goodness. JMac50, happy Friday to you too. Thank you. Maybe they link. Let's find out if they link. Links. Better link. Well, let me guess. They don't chase you? Okay, they link. Cool. I wonder how far they link. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need three of these. And the lower and catastrophes happen. Catastrophes? Growers? It's like, never mind. <laughs> Almost a little tempted to ask what's going on, but, but yeah. Dendril may be one of the top red mages. <laughs> it's because of the pimp hat. Definitely. Alright, let's see if uh, this does any good. 
Fruit, damn it. Fruit. Eh. Hey, I got a Livispore. I don't think that's what I wanted. Curses. But, it did kill a bunch of them, so yay. Let's see if there's any more this way. Don't see any more this way. Get one of those things. I remember this area. I think this is where we were fighting the uh, big giant. I forget what they're called. Paste? 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 The big giant snapdragon looking lizard. And, uh, yeah. I think it petrified me back then. Two Gat! 123. Happy Friday, sir. I'm assuming, sir. It could be met him. I never asked. Happy Friday, person. Just leave it at that. Oh no. Uh, offend both races. Races. We can offend uh, both genders at the same time. There we go. Going this way. Looking that way. Is there like? Is that like the only fungars? The ones I just killed. I know they're supposed to respawn really quickly, but there we go. Shadow fungars. This way. To respawn. Mm -hmm. We just need non-amigo killing everything. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. There we go. My Valor Hose has Treasure Hunter plus one on it. Let me equip that. I think that's the only thing non-thief only that I can equip with Treasure Hunter. Have to be careful. Dang, Nana. She don't waste no time. There are a few more north of the area you kill, but if nobody's been killing them, can be 10 minutes to resolve. Jeez. So this is gonna be forever. I wonder if you can like buy the stuff on the auction house. So all we got on that one was a sleep room. I should come back on Thief. Yes. I should Thief. Do this the right way. Frick is just staring into the camera. Yay! That one worked. One down, two to go. Just wish I could use, like, sneak attack. Or do whatever she just did. I wonder if I still have the pet or the, uh, you know, no, actually, I don't remember. Isn't one of the ladybugs one of those things that, eh, eh. Forget. Ladybugs, they have, like, a treasure hunter, I think. They're just not really good at killing stuff. But since it's an insect, you think it would take tear these plants apart. This is my old dark green camp. No aggro can AFK indefinitely. Really? I'd be more worried that, like, hey, we're uh, running out of time. Ladybug or Hippogriff. Thank you. I see Shadow Fungars. There's still some off in this direction. This is going to be like a fairly large camp. By fairly large, I mean, I'm surprised there's at least a dozen. <laughs> All right, Ami. I Ami. All right, Nana. Don't one-shot this thing. Maybe hold on. What if I get it from behind? Will that make it better? That should be good. Wasting. I don't think we're landing treasure hunter on it. I really don't. Twenty-two mushrooms. Definitely be doing this on a level 75 job then. I'm gonna check all my accessories real quick, just make sure there's nothing else that has TH on it. I seriously, seriously doubt it. It would be cool if it did. No mushrooms. Sad faces, sad. Alright, belts. No. Neck pieces. No. No, I just no, I don't have much in the way of treasure hunter. I have sand dung, that has treasure hunter on it, but, you know, it's 
It's not the same. <laughs> Use trick attack, Nana. You know you want to. Hey, look! Dusty Elixir. Here's what I'm starting to think. Thief. Thievery. I'll also be able to use the opportunity to, uh, you know, replenish our amount of time in here. Let's see if we got any more on the wide scan. Apparently we do. Behind this one. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them now. Cool. That's the one we just killed. Follow the road this way. The zone really looks peculiar without the uh, crack of dim hanging out in the center of it. He's just like, I don't know where I'm at anymore. Doesn't help that the sky looks all orangey. Is there a sun? I know there's a moon, but yeah. I suggest Thief. I remember the drop rate being low, but Oblivospores NPC well. Cool. Alright, I'll just kill all these things on my way back, and I'll follow the road. Maybe we'll get lucky. We've gotten lucky before in this game. Other than that, I think about it. Our luck's probably run out. Alright, should be good. Make sure I still have that pants equip. I do. As with Thief, you get the treasure on plus three on the hands. And then the uh, additional TH on the uh, dagger. Although the Thief's dagger would probably be better for this. Although I don't think I have a Thief's dagger anymore. I think I gave it to Song. I really no idea what Song did with it. Why are the Fungars shadowy? They don't look like Shadow Fungars. How did I think about it? I think a uh, dark gray or even a black um, coloration for these things? That might look neat. Especially if you give them like a little red cap instead of the orange one. Make it happen. Somebody probably already has. Like a, Little dat swap slash image thingy. One more purple polypore. They're dark crystal droppers at least. Yeah. I remember farming these things, trying to get dark crystals because I wanted a level um, leather crafting, but I wasn't gonna buy my dark crystals because too expensive. But the day I was fighting them on was Light's Day. Not a single one ever dropped. So I was like thinking... Is it just like a low drop rate on Light Stay? Or... I just have like terribly bad luck with it. And so forth. I wasn't that high enough level. I think it was like level 15. Soloing the Fungars. And it was like, yeah... I got a woozy shroom. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Shadow Fungar. There we go. Wow. 3,000, it's still standing. I lost the hate. Curses. I felt like we were doing so good, too. Quite scan. And the other Shadow Fungars. Some behind me. A bunch behind me now. I only need one more. So we're going to say 20 minutes from now. <laughs> I'm going to run up this hill. Hopefully Kitty won't get stuck. Because, you know, Kitty... He likes to get stuck on stuff, especially hills. I would get stuck on a hill. Be all like out of breath. 
wheezing. I'm trying to call Uber, but they can't hear where I'm at. Whack. Whack. Dang it, you should have whacked more than that. Oh well. Game Kitty rubs up against everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's only funny because it's true. It took me like six months to farm the perfect dark ring. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. I feel like I'm gonna have to do it one of these days. Just to, uh, you know, go really. Wow. But. Hmm. It does not seem fun. Shadow Fungar. So intimidated by me. I don't know why I thought that would be the one. Alright, check the map. Let's check the white scan. Yes, it's because that one's dead. Let's just go to the left. Didn't leave the zone for six months? Wow. That's some. That's some commitment right there. If I was to do something like that, I would have to do it on a separate character. I guess I wouldn't have to. That's how I would want to. Don't hate me, Pungar. She's the one that did the evisceration. Not me. No. Give me the thingy. I just want the thingy, then I'll go and I'll leave your kind alone. One of those days. The domain just did stuff on the other characters. There you go. It didn't drop, did it? No, it didn't. Stayed in Zurin. No, I think you spelled it right. Mines for one month on Woosh. Try and get that skill gain plus ring from the brown box. Never to get it. Oh! Sad. I think I spent the better part of a week going after, what was it, culinarians? I don't even know where I moved it to. Yeah, culinarian store. The cooking skill plus two. I always forget to uh, actually do something with it, because it's just one of those things that's like, oh yeah, not that one. I just need to add it to uh, my crafty macros. An equip set. Cooking equip set. Make it ninja only. Keep going. You can do it. Got me in cloth craft. Torque cost me about 18 million in thieves tools. Oh my goodness. Really? Two things dropped, but nothing that we wanted. So sad. I never use the thieves tools to open them. I just did the little puzzle each and every time. Guess it. Math. Uh, but you got them. There you go. And that's what's important. It's like I kind of want to get the fisherman's torque for dent. And then I kind of don't want to. Another woozy shroom. So we're getting mushrooms to not. Hmm. Belly's starting to get a little upset with me. That can't be good. And much better luck with the clothcraft torque. I think that only took me two days. So that'd be a good thing to do on the weekend. Over and over and over again. If I missed one box, I would believe the torque was in that one. Yeah, I was just hanging out down there. I had Sung and Dent. They leveled... I think they both leveled Bard from level 50 to level 99. Just following me. Um, Song capped uh, his blue magic skill. Yeah. It was all good times. More woozy shrooms. It's like the treasure hunter is improving. I might be able to open a box I knew it was missing that thing. <laughs> if it wasn't best in slot for crafting, you could almost, you know, say, tell yourself, 
I don't really need it. You can get this other one. From uh, the Coalition dude. Yay! Purple polypore. <laughs> one of these days that'll get old. One of these days. But not today. Not today. It's cute that a Puru does it. Shantoto wants. Fix that, Square Enix. I want to see Shantoto number two. Do job emotes. Whilst flying. She does job emote and it should be something different than a... Uh, should be something different than a frog she stands on. Let it be... A, let it be Vanadil. She's standing on the world. Laughing maniacally as a ninja. Or something. Actually, i never done Jobby Mount Bard with uh, Gen Toto out. Maybe she would respond to that. Bard. Black Mage. <laughs> it would be a serpent. <laughs> I could see that. I hope I'm headed in the right direction. This feels roughly like the right direction. See Razorbacks. And I see the top of a hill this way. And a resistance fighter. Okay, we are going in the right direction. I hope you said three of the poly purple thingamajiggies. And at which time do I need to exit Abyssia so I don't get locked out for an hour? Is it like 10 minutes or 15 or should I get out at the 30 minute mark? What if this stuff stacks? Uzi shrooms. Purple polypores. There we go. Selling three of them. A rare mushroom said to have medicinal properties before five minute mark. Oh, okay. So we got time. What have we here? Some purple polypores and mighty fine specimens at that. Maybe you're more useful than I pegged you for. Well, a deal's a deal. Here's your soothing potion. Knock yourself out. Seems like we just might have a mutually beneficial relationship here. If you catch my drift. If you come across any purple polypore in your travels, bring them to old Julio here. I just might have another soothing potion lying around for you. Neat. Alright. So, we're still on that first quest, though, where we need to pass out Link Pearls to everybody. That was called Rose on the Heath. Alright, so we got Rashid. Let's go get Argus at D7. Apparently he's by complex number 3. Not that I remember where any complexes are, but D7, D7, D7. If I was a map where would I be? D's gonna be on the left hand side. Seven's oh gosh. I know where that is. Alright, we're gonna go this way. This is where the uh, worms were. Then regular constant highlands. You could solo them at level 12 and get some really decent XP back in the good old days. And since they were worms, they died so easily. But it also took like 14 minutes to uh, wait for them to respawn, because it's the old days. And at night, there was this um, bogey that would show up in a cave off to the side. That wasn't cool. That's kind of cute. He's like tiny and purpley. I've never seen this one before. Of course you're going to aggro, aren't you? Yeah. It's okay. I understand. You are plant type, so... Take the 24,000. Wow. And game. <laughs> oh, you don't get a title for killing that thing, do you? Profile. Nope, still ultimate champion of the world. Maybe not the best title ever, but it's up there. Sorry, Wicked Tron. I still need to go a little bit more. Drops the Nin piece. Nin piece? Well, at least I got 600 cool roar. Whereas I probably needed a proc it. Get it to drop it. Wait, do they have procs at this stage in Abyssia? Or was it just pop it and kill it? Rinse and repeat. They probably had it. Rocks at least. 
stuffs. I don't know if that weird stuff aggroes. My title is best. Serious. Stuckler. My, my. <laughs> I do feel I need to give everybody a slight warning. My belly is upset, and it feels like it's getting more upset. So, if I have to do a... Gotta go. Have a good weekend, and turn it off real fast. That's what that's about. Sucks getting old. Dun, dun, dun. That is a legitimate title. In the I believe that. So glad the Calamari don't uh, even do the, uh, what you call it, aggro. Non-offensive, how should we say? Non-aggro, aggro, I think. I'm going to turn around, it's going to be like 21 behind me. I'll be like, get it, Cricket. Burn it with fire. Viper KC! Happy Friday indeed. Wait. Oh, that's right. We, we, we used to uh, take a knee whenever, uh, whenever we needed to get hit points or MP back. Look, everyone, it's Argus! Yay, Argus. I don't remember you from the first part of the game. Let's see. You, what are you doing here? Can't you see that it's not, oh, he's a stutterer. Safe here. Go, go, go and leave us die in peace. We lost communication with the home base. They're probably all dead. Not that it matters. We'll be joining them before long. Oh, so cynical, isn't he? A stray beam of light. Catch a cynical seal of the resistance, causing it to gleam, but only for a moment. Rose on the heath? Could the captain be of Sentia? That's impossible. We were certain she was. You hand over the captain, Argus's link girl. Friend, you have no idea how much this means to us. Please forgive my uh, momentary lap of courage. I will contact Captain Ime immediately. We will find a way to fight on. Or we must. Alright. Cured his stutter. Next one is going to be probably all the way across the zone. Helga, southeast corner G5, cornflakes number six. Is there a cornflake over here? I doubt it, but maybe there is. It's worth a looks, right? Maybe? Does I run into something? Mm, yeah. Of course, now I'm thinking maybe there wasn't. Kind of seems like a dead end over here, doesn't it? Wait, wait. I see it. I almost turned around and gave up. But I didn't. So proud of myself. Clicking the thingy. Activate it. Yeah. <laughs> Love how it's like, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, so we want corn flux number six. We're looking for G5. All the wrong places. Let us go. Well, oh, good news is we have number five. Don't have two and four. Probably don't need two and four. I think I will eventually get them by the time we're all done here. And G7, 5 should be to the north. Yeah. To the north. Going this way. Feels like we were just out this way. But I'd be wrong. I would have totally remembered the Mesa thingy. Spectral Jig, just in case. Hopefully they don't aggro the job abilities. Probably aggro the job abilities. G6. So I can't remember. Does the music stay like this during combat, or do you get combat music? Oh. This looks like G5. That looks like Helga. Turn up our invisibility so we can sneak, sneak, sneak up from be. Okay, no sneaking. Try to sneak, sneak, sneak up from behind. At least this place has their Republic banner on display. Halt! Who goes there? See what happens when you sneak up on them? 
a straight beam of light catches Cyndaquil's seal of the resistance. Because you know what Puru is shining a flashlight on her, right? Ha! A forgery, no doubt. You'll have to try harder than that to pull one over on old Helga, you despicable double-crossing Abyssian agent. Oh, yes. We'll see by the blood you bleed when I run... Oh, Rose on the Heath? You fiends know our password now. <laughs> Is there no end to the depths of your descent? A link pro from the captain. Could it be that you truly are? You hand over Captain Helga's link pro. Forgive me for doubting you. As you can imagine, tensions are running high for all of us these days. We were scouting this area with Captain Naji and his regiment when the fiends fell upon us. So stubborn was the onslaught that we were quickly separated from our companions. We were fortunate enough to have a fully fueled martello nearby, else I'd be decomposing in a slime's belly right now instead of talking to you. But what's done is done. What matters now is that we regroup and rejoin the fight as soon as possible. This Link Pro you brought will be of great use to us. We are in your debt. Wait, no, what you call it? Wind music or anything like that? Or do I have to go back to, uh, um, I have to go back. Report back to I'm at base camp to receive your reward. We should do that before we get kicked out of here. This way. Now we're going back this way. Sneak's getting ready to wear off. Oh, nuts. Remember back in the good old days? You're in a party, trying to run through. Finally cast Sneaking Invisible on everybody, because you're the white mage and, you know, nobody wants to, uh... <laughs> nobody wants to use, uh, prism powders or sneak oils or anything like that. They're like, SI, please. You drop your own sneaking invisible. Cast sneaking invisible back on them, then recast invisible back on you, and then just go another two steps, and somebody's like, Sneak's wearing. Sneak wore off. I just aggroed everything. It's all the white mages' fault. Yeah, I don't miss those days. Let us go back to corn pluck number one. Yes, yeah, screw that. You got one freebie at the start of the zone, and sink. Or swim. Kinda, kinda like that. Yeah. Going back over this way. There she is, next to Steel Bones. All right, Ayame. She says, "Send the quill. Thank the heavens you're safe. It's not that I doubted your skills, of course, but you just must understand. I've lost not a few capable women to lesser task." In the days when the Republic still prospered, I could have offered you a more suitable reward. Times being as they are, though, this will have to suffice. Dare I hope, a captain must keep both her feet on the ground. It will not do for me to dream of castles in the air, and yet I cannot help but feel that your presence here has changed something. I know not what led you to us. Or to what distant land you must someday return. But I pray that you will not neglect our plight. Seek me out from time to time and share with me your exploits. I shall see that you are rewarded in kind. Go in safety, Cynical. Wow, well, there's a lot of walking around just for it, or just saying Square Enix. Should like up that or something. Alright, so the one after that's going to be called The Soul of the Matter. Oh, this is where we have to go and uh, take a photo of somebody. Not bad, but I think I will probably do that next time because my stomach is uh, really starting to get kind of pissy at me now. I wonder if it's lunch. Nah, if it was lunch, it would have happened a lot sooner, earlier in the day than that. Um, mm, 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 mm. that we don't want to do all of them tonight, anyways. Gotta save some for next week. Well, yeah. But we got the pre rec stuff done. It's basically a hey, go explore the land. Here's some quests. It, it, it kind of felt like a tutorial all the way around, but yeah. So this weekend, gotta take the car to the shop, new inspection sticker. 
Uh, need to clean the apartment up because we didn't clean it up last weekend. Or the weekend before. And probably do a little stuff on Star Trek Online. Maybe watch a movie. And maybe cash in my uh, Ambuscade points because I think we have till Monday. I should double check that. I should totally double check that. Sorry for turning this one off after just an hour and a half, but. <laughs> you know how it goes sometimes. Um, trying to think what else. Monday, Monday, Monday. I think. I think we'll do Monstrosity on Monday. I kind of want to see what I can do with a bunny. Because that might be fun. And maybe not. I might change my mind half a dozen times, too, before then and now. Y'all be good. Stay safe. Have fun. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.